Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue, and I'm making a video about the little heads-up display in Moto 11. This little bar of tools here, which showed up in Moto 11, and I'm sure a lot of you, if you're like me, thought, oh, that's, that's cool, a little bar of tools. Uh, how do I get rid of it? And you press Control Tab and it got rid of it, and you just never saw it again. <laughs> Um, I'm actually bringing this thing back. I actually think there's a place for this in a, a nice modeling workflow. We just have to customize it a bit because it's really not as useful as it can be out of the box. So pressing control tab, of course, toggles it on and off, which is nice. And it's also nice that it pops up underneath your cursor, wherever it is. So it's always there really quick, uh, you know, not a lot of mouse travel to get to your tools. Tools on the left are the most recently used tools. So if I press thicken, you can see thicken is going to show up over here. If I go to bridge, you know, bridge is showing up. So these are always changing and they're the most used tools or commands. If it's command, it's just going to appear as like, or a tool without a, an icon will appear as just like a little gear. I don't use this that much. In fact, I actually um, keep it collapsed because I'm not, I don't find myself going back and using the most, you know, looking for the most recently used tool that often. But what's interesting on the right side over here, and this is the completely customizable side, you see a little X popping up. We can delete some of these um, tools that are here and we can add new ones. And what's really interesting is if I collapse the site over here, is right now I'm in polygon mode. But if I press one and go to ver vertex mode, you'll notice it changes a little bit. If I go to edge mode, it changes a little bit. If I even go to item mode, it changes a little bit. So this toolbar is actually uh, shows tools depending on what mode you're in. So is that, that's actually very useful, right? It's not gonna show available polygon tools if you're in item mode. It's not gonna show available vert tools if you're in edge mode. It's only gonna show tools that are applicable to the mode that you're in. What we need to do though is put the right tools in the HUD. For instance, if I go to polygon mode and take a look at the tools we have here, we have this uh, general transform tool, we have the element move tool, we have the bevel tool. These are not great tools to have in the HUD. Why is that? Well, if you look at your typical modeling workflow, the most often used tools have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them, right? You've either memorized the keyboard shortcut, you know, B in the case of bevel, or you've assigned keyboard shortcuts to the tools you use a lot. And a keyboard shortcut is better than the HUD, right? A keyboard shortcut is the fastest way to get to a tool. So I'm not gonna activate the HUD and then click on the bevel tool and then bevel. I'm just going to hit B and bevel. Anybody who's used Moto more than two days is just going to hit B to bevel. So here, bev the bevel icon is just taking up space on the HUD, making it kind of useless, which I think is one of the reasons people don't use it. Same with the transform tool. Same with the element move tool. People just press T. If I look at uh, the edge mode, same thing. Edge bevel's on here. Why would you use these two modes as well? The same ones. Why would you have them on there since those are super common things that you already know the keyboard shortcut to, right? But if we have something like Thicken, which over here you can see it does not have a keyboard shortcut because keyboard shortcuts are listed next to the icon. That's a tool that I actually use a fair amount. I don't have it a, a tied to a keyboard shortcut or a pie menu, so I always have to click on it over here in the sidebar. Or if I'm not in the modeling layout, I end up pressing F2 and then finding Thicken and clicking on it. So the HUD, you know, having Thicken in the HUD really makes sense for the Thicken tool, right? And other tools, you can just kind of look over here and see Bridge. Bridge does not have a keyboard shortcut. I use it pretty often. So Bridge is probably a good candidate for the HUD. So how do I put it on there? Well, if you just hover over these, you see the little X, pretty self-explanatory. So here's Bevel. Don't need Bevel. I know I don't need Bevel because I know B is Bevel, so I'm going to get rid of Bevel. I'm going to click Bridge to activate it, and I'm just going to hit the plus button. Now I've got Bridge in my HUD. This um, element push tool is actually pretty useful. It does not have a keyboard shortcut, so I'm gonna keep it there. Element move though, that's just T, right? If I go over here to deform, element move, that's just T. You should know that. If you don't know that, element move is T. So I'm gonna get rid of element move, and I'm gonna find a better tool for that slot. So we can dig around on the polygon tab, see if there's anything that strikes your fancy. I would, whoops, let me just drop that tool there. Um, you know, there's nothing on here, maybe spiky, maybe pin that you want to put there. For me, there's nothing I use often enough that I really want it on the HUD. You really want to keep this down to like a half a dozen tools or so. So you don't, you know, you want to get it down to muscle memory, essentially, right? Just like a keyboard shortcut or a pie menu. Muscle memory working is the fastest way of working. So we don't want to have to even really look at our HUD. We just want to know what's there. So I actually tend to do things like draw curves a lot. So for me, you know, having the ability to get to a curve drawing tool from the HUD is probably more useful. So I'm going to add that there. 
and I'm going to get rid of the transform tool on the HUD because again, don't need to use that. I know all the keyboard shortcuts. I will probably put something like the clone tool on the HUD though because I tend to use that a fair amount when uh, modeling as well. So for instance, you know, you could do whatever you want, but this is how I may have my uh, HUD configured for polygons. If you press uh, two or go over to the edge mode here, let's go ahead and drop that tool and go over to the edge mode. Again, you're gonna see things that you really don't need on here, like edge bevel, we know that's B. Uh, element move again, we know that's T, this transform tool, again, we don't need to know that. Um, the element push tool, again, that's a good one. It's on the polygon tab. It also works with edges, so we can keep it there. I think even the bridge tab, even the bridge tool would be good on here because you can bridge edges and you don't wanna to have to necessarily, you know, keep in mind the bridge tool for polygon mode isn't gonna show up on here unless I'm in polygon mode. So if I, if I bridge edges together very often, I would really, I should really put the bridge tool here as well. Uh, I do like this add edge mode on here because I think that's kind of a cool little feature that a lot of people probably don't use because it's not assigned a keyboard shortcut by default and people just probably forget it even exists. So I think that's a good one to have on there. Looking at the edge tab, I think slide definitely needs to be on there so we can add the slide tool. I do think add point should be on there. In fact, if you wanna be really organized, I could put add point next to add loop there. So I can delete a couple of these guys. We have add point, let's add that. Then let's go back and add bridge. And what was the other one I had on there? Slide we're gonna have on there. Now you will notice that I'm only adding tools and not commands. A command being something like if I select some edges here and do collapse, this is a command, not a tool. It's not interactive, it just fires a command. So I click collapse, it does the command, but I can't actually add that to the HUD as a tool. There's no way to add it, at least I don't think there is, at least not yet. Uh, there's no way to rearrange these either, as far as I know, besides deleting them and kind of starting over like I did earlier. That command will be in the most recent use side over here, like that you know, edge collapse command is over here now. Uh, but I, like I said, I typically have the most recently used stuff collapsed, but you may like to have that open. So I'm not gonna go through every single tool, but using the HUD really comes down to two things. One, put the tools on the HUD that don't have keyboard shortcuts. Because if a tool has a keyboard shortcut, you should probably know that. Or if you use a tool a lot and it doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, then you should give it one. Because keyboard shortcuts are still the fastest way to work. But you can use the HUD for tools that don't have keyboard shortcuts or you don't use them quite often enough to warrant one, but you do end up find, you know, digging around for them a lot. Like the bridge tool, the slide tool, uh, thicken, if you find yourself digging around for those or having to press F2 to bring up the modeling tab to quickly get to them on other layouts, like the animation layout, then they probably find a good, you know, uh, can find a good home on the HUD. The other aspect of this is, number two, you have to know what's on the HUD, right? Make it a part of your muscle memory. So if I get slide, the slide tool is part of my muscle memory that it's on the HUD, it is actually very fast to bring it up because the HUD is always gonna come up under your mouse and it's always gonna come up with the proper tools to whatever uh, component mode you're in. So it's, you know, if I'm looking for slide, if I press control tab, it's always gonna come up, you know, with edge tools, you know, the slide is always gonna be there with that edge selected because it's gonna bring up only edge-based tools. And that's actually pretty quick, right, to use. So you can always get rid of it real quick, control tab, it's all right there in your left hand, all those keyboard shortcuts. So that's a really good application for the HUD. Um, couple of closing thoughts. I do wish we could use commands because honestly, some of the most useful commands for vertices in the HUD are, or tools for vertices are commands like join and join average. I, I use those quite a bit. I'd like to put join and join average in the HUD as, as commands, even though they're not tools. And of course in item mode, there's a lot of duplication uh, uh, tools that work well, you know, for the HUD for item mode. But for some reason, not all of these will actually show up in the HUD. For instance, uh, like scatter clone, for whatever reason, I just, I can't add that to the HUD. It just won't add. Not sure if that's a bug or what's going on. Just won't add. Uh, mesh paint, same thing. Can't quite get that in the HUD. Although paste tool is there just fine. So I'm not sure why some item tools work and some don't, but that's something to look at, I guess, Foundry. Anyway, that's what I think of the HUD. I think it is actually useful. You just have to put the right tools there. And then of course, remember that they're there and work that into your muscle memory workflow. Once it's in muscle memory, the HUD's a great idea because it's super fast but you gotta get those two things taken care of first. And last, but certainly not least, make sure you save your customizations by doing a config save. 
If you don't do a config save and you just quit Moto, it will save that automatically. But if you happen to crash Moto before saving the config or successfully quitting, then you will lose your customization. So it's best to just do a config save to lock those in. Yum, yum.